recognise the bilateral interoperability. This is something that hadn't been seen for more than 70 years. A fighter jet landing on board a Japanese aircraft carrier. The jet is American, but Japan has 40 of them on order. And this is a sleek new Mogami-class stealth frigate being commissioned last month. It's the first of 22. Japan is quietly abandoning seven decades of pacifism, and the reason is simple. China. After Ukraine, Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is warning that a Chinese invasion of Taiwan could be next. A Taiwan emergency is an emergency for Japan and for the US-Japan alliance. President Xi Jinping should not make any mistake in recognizing this. Taiwan is a vibrant and boisterous democracy. But just like Ukraine, it is claimed by a much bigger, more powerful neighbor. I think whoever is in power in China, be it Xi Jinping or whomever comes after him, it is baked into the cake inside the Communist Party that uh, China must get Taiwan back. Uh, it's impossible to see any leader stepping back from that position, and if they did step back from that position, they'd be out of a job. Just south of Tokyo, ships of the US 7th Fleet lie at anchor next to those of its Japanese ally. For decades, these ships have guaranteed American domination of the Western Pacific, but not anymore. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has highlighted two very uncomfortable truths for the United States and its allies here in Asia. The first is that when China says it is determined to reunify Taiwan by force if necessary, it actually means it. The second is that if China did try and invade Taiwan, despite all of the impressive naval power on display here in Tokyo Bay, it's not clear at all whether the United States and its Japanese allies now have the ability to stop them. China's current military buildup is unprecedented in peacetime, and many of these new weapons are designed specifically to defeat any attempt by the US or Japan to intervene in the Taiwan Straits. Between now and 2030, is there is an assessment that China will have significant conventional military advantages uh, in this period. And so this is the period that everybody is most concerned that China will have conventional uh, military advantage and, and could be tempted uh, to use it. As they meet in Tokyo this week, the challenge for the US and its allies is how do they make it clear to President Xi Jinping that despite his newly acquired military might, using force to take Taiwan would be just as much a disaster for him as invading Ukraine has been for President Putin. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Tokyo.